Hey, what's up creators? Welcome back to S Graphics. In this video, we're going to explore some super cool motion graphics using shape animations and After Effects. I'll walk you through the process of using these dynamic shapes to craft engaging animations that can be used in everything from vibrant social media posts and compelling video intros to slick promotional materials. Whether you're aiming to add some flair to your brand or just want to enhance your design skills, this tutorial has you covered. Get ready to learn how to make those shapes move, transform, and bring your designs to life. It's going to be an exciting ride. So let's jump right in and start creating. Create a new composition. I'll name it Shape. Width and height will be 500 by 500. Hit OK. Select Circle Tool and draw a circle with Holding Shift. And hold Control and double click on Pan Behind Tool to move the pivot point at the center. And align shape to center. Press S to scale. Add keyframe. Make it bit smaller. Go a few frames forward and scale it up. Again, go a few frames forward, make it smaller. Go a few frames forward, increase its size and repeat it. Select all keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease. Duplicate shape layer, press S and go to any keyframes and make it smaller. And set second layer's track mat to the first layer. And if you can't see the track mat option, click on this toggle switches slash modes. Now make sure to click on here to invert the track mat. Now add one keyframe in between all keyframes and set its size to zero. Copy and paste this keyframe, and we will have this type of animation. Create a new comp, name it Pattern. Width will be 1920 and height I'm giving 864. Hit OK. Drag this shape layer to the timeline. and set this to fit so we can see the viewport completely. Make it a bit smaller. And add an effect called CC Repetile. And increase expand right amount. I think I need to make it smaller. Expand bit more and copy this amount and paste it in expand left. Increase expand down amount and copy this and paste in expand up. Here we have this type of animation. We will make it random. Now add a new solid. Let's name it Map. Add Fractal Noise Effect to it. Select Noise Type to Block. Set Complexity to 1. And place this layer below. Now open Transform and increase its size. Adjust Offset.
so that there will be one block for each circle. Now go to start and click here on stopwatch to add keyframe for evolution. Go to the end and set evolution to 2. Hide this map layer. Add new adjustment layer. And add an effect time displacement. Here select map layer. And here effects and masks. Now here we have variation in animation. Select all these layers and press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose. And let's name it Pattern Displacement. Here you can see these circles are not fitting in comp properly and it will be problem when we will use repeat effect for it. So what we will do is we will select this region of interest tool. And draw a rectangle like this. so that no shapes are cutting. Now go to the composition and click on Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Now let's create the final comp. I'll name it Render. All settings will be the same as before. Import Pattern Layer to Timeline. Make it 3D and add camera layer. I set focal length of camera to 40. Hit OK. Now add a null object and parent camera layer to null and make it 3D. Hit R to rotate and rotate it from X and Y axis. Select Pattern, hit S, and make it smaller. Add CC Repetile effect to it. And increase Expand right, left, up and down. Add the Fill effect to it. And change its color to whatever you like. Hit OK. Now open camera layer and turn on depth of field and set focus distance and blur amount. Now minimize all layers by pressing U. Double click on this rectangle tool to fill whole frame and change it color to black. Now select pen tool and click this tool creates mask. Make sure to roto bezier is checked that is in the right of the tool creates mask. And draw a shape like this. Hit M and click on invert. Close and open mask and increase feather amount. Press V and we can move this points. Here we have this kind of depth because of this layer. Now select Null Layer and press P for position. Come to the start and add keyframe. Go to the end and drag X amount to right to move this forward. Looking good. Add a new adjustment layer. And add glow effect to it. Set glow threshold to 45 and increase glow radius.
Then duplicate the effect and set glow threshold to 100 and intensity to 0.5 and increase glow radius. Let's set glow intensity to 0.3. Now select pattern layer and duplicate it. Hit P and increase Z amount. Hit T and bring down the opacity to 5. Make one more duplicate of it. Hit P and increase Z amount. Then press T and set opacity to 3. And with no layer we can change its rotation. Looking good, select adjustment layer and add noise effect. Set noise amount to 8. Click on text tool and type your text. I'm choosing Montserrat extra bold font. Select pan behind tool and move this to here and place it here. Select this text tool again and select space like this for text and write your text. Make it smaller. I'm going to use Montserrat Light for this. Align both texts. Now open main text layer and click on animate, then choose opacity. Set opacity to zero. Open range selector, add keyframe to start and offset. Go to the one second. Set start amount to 100, offset amount to 100. Come to this gond, set offset amount to minus 100. Scroll down and select Ramp Up for Shape. Set Ease High to minus 100. And Ease Low to 80. And turn on Randomize Order. Add Keyframe on Random Seed. Go to the one sec. And then set it to 12. Now copy this animator one. Minimize the layer by pressing U. Come to the start and paste animator in this text layer. Open this layer. Open animator. Range selector. Then advanced and turn off the randomize order. Now we have this kind of text animation. Drag right this layer. Now parent this first layer to the second layer, which is main text. Select main text layer and align it to the center. Go few frames forward where second text started animating. Press P and add keyframe. Go few frames forward where animation is stopped for second text layer and move this up. Now select both the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and tweak graph like this.
nice. Now go to the second keyframe and hit S then add keyframe. Go few frames forward and make it a bit smaller. Select both the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease them, then go to the graph editor and tweak graph like this. Here's our animation is completed. You made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something awesome. If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe for more epic motion graphics content on S Graphics. Got ideas or questions? Drop them in the comments below. Keep creating, keep pushing your limits, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.